What's up, MV fam, and welcome to MV Steve's Gaming. And on today's video, we have our last brand new Pokemon tin to open up the Snorlax and Eevee Pokemon tin with the awesome full art promo card we're gonna go ahead and tear into this and if you guys have been following along we opened the venusaur and celebi pack um i'm sorry we opened the venusaur and celebi tin last video i'll go ahead and link that up in here because you know what we pulled some absolute fire not only did we pull some absolute fire from one of the packs in the tin but we also pulled absolute fire from the two vintage packs that i opened up for you guys at the end for the finale of the video and we're gonna do it again we're gonna see if we have the same kind of luck i mean i pulled a raichu out of the 1996 vintage fossil japanese booster pack and we pulled a magneton we had an electric type party we pulled a magneton hollow rare out of the first edition i busted out one more pack from my first edition set that i purchased on a live bike box break and i'm gonna go ahead and open up one more for you guys right here so go ahead and smash that like button share this with everybody that you know let's get them to watch us pull them fire poles we're gonna get all the good mojo in here guys so that we could pull them fire poles again wish me luck but without further ado let's bust into this tin so that we could tear into these vintage packs at the end of the video so here we go one more tin to go and we're gonna have this one be our tin opening finale video everybody so yes for all of you that have followed along we've had a lot of fun with these videos i mean the vintage packs have really made these videos special but these tins are also very special i mean look at this artwork the raised artwork these tins are just fantastic artworks on the sides of the tins there we go this stuff is just great. The Pokemon Company really nailed it with these tins. I really, really enjoy everything about these tins. They are awesome. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up. Let's go ahead and start with the promo card as always. Let's get this thing popped out of here. Uh, hopefully the bots didn't just steal that. I, I will blur it. I will not let the bots get the cards, MV fan. That is for you guys. Thanks for watching with me. Let me take this off screen a little bit here just so I can get the code card out of the way. And there it is. There's that Eevee and Snorlax alternate full artwork in this promo. Very cartoony and sketchy, almost painted on there. I love this. This is a very, very awesome card. And uh, yeah, this promo card is looking mint. Very good, very good. Uh, man, I like that. That's that's very awesome. Very, very cool. Let's just enjoy that. That card is looking very clean. Not a lot of problems. Maybe it's a little bit bigger on the border up here, but let's go ahead and take one more look at it before we set them off on the stands over here. There's that promo card. All right. And let's see, are we going to get the same type of packs? We know we're going to get the two team ups. We do get a Forbidden Light and we do get an Evolutions. And there we go. Our boy Mega Blast Toys right there on the pack. So we're going to keep it the same oldest to newest. Let's take a look at our third Full Metal GX marker. There it is. You guys have seen those. You just heard them all stacked together. Let's get the box out of the way for now. And let's get right into some packs here. All right. We have the Evolutions pack. And we pulled a banger out of both. I mean, we got the Chansey Hollow Rare out of the first one. And then out of the second tin, we pulled the Polar Mega Venusaur EX card. So let's see if we can continue that luck with Evolutions here. And look at that. A square cut square cut card now, i'm gonna have to blur that out but that was kind of interesting it looks a little square cut there but there's the code card all right let's go three and two to the back that rare card is looking pretty nice hopefully it's something spicy there's a diglet rattata charmander energy card pikachu there's that Secret Rare Executor. That's very cool. We'll go ahead and leave that one out. Misty's Determination. There's a Revive Trainer card. 
There's that Charmander Reverse Hollow Common card, but it's a Charmander. That is very awesome. And let's see what we pull for the rare. And it's a Beedrill, non hollow rare. We'll leave that out. We'll leave that out. Not the Beedrill, but we'll leave the Reverse Hollow Charmander out. And I will sleeve up the Secret Rare. That's always a cool little pull to get. There we go. That Secret Rare. All right. Let's see if we can have some better luck out of the Forbidden Light. Here we go. Let's get it open right up. Nice and easy these are opening up for us. Must be an, oh no, it's a green. Oh, just threw that card all off crazy. Man, there we go, code card. And uh, let's see, four to the front. What are we gonna get, guys? Water type energy? Nope, electric type energy. I like to do that, guess the opposite. The Dene, Go Goat, Floet, Binnacle, Flabebe, Pro Gunk, Cluncher, Froki, Barbarical, Reverse Hollow Rare. There you go. And for our rare pole, we get a Noivern, a non hollow rare. So, yeah, that was a Reverse Hollow Rare pole. We'll go ahead and sleeve the Reverse Hollow Rare up since we haven't got any good poles yet but here we go let's see if the gengar and mimic you pack art can change that for us in the team up series let's get some better poles out of the newer packs hopefully let's see all right code card flip that out of here four to the front here we go electric type energy metal goggles gold duck Grass Memory, Ponyard, Star You, Honedge, Weedle, uh, Dratini, and there we go, a Prism Shaman. That is not a bad pull. Look at that. That is very nice in the light. Prism Shaman card, everybody. Let's see what we get for the rare pull. We get, oh, wow. Ingo and Emmett, Bull Art Trainer card. We're pulling that fire again. Look at that perfect pack, everybody. Look at this Ingo and Emmett Full Art Trainer card. Very, very nice. Textured, beautiful card. Oh my goodness, what a perfect pack. We need to get these sleeved up right away. All right, Ingo and Emmett Full Art Trainer card, adding it straight to the collection. Do not have this yet. Oh my goodness card is looking mint the printing on these cards is very very good so there we go full art ingo and emmett to go with our full art promo card we did it we pull fire in every single 10 opening video including the prism star shaman everybody i love this card the color is great the card performs very well in a grass type deck love this card there we go. Prism Star, shaming everybody. And we still have one pack left. A Venusaur and Celebi pack art. And it's feeling a little heavy, I think. I mean, it just feels right. It just does. Let's see if we get last pack magic. Let's see if the feeling is right. There is... Oh, I can't grab it. There's the code card. And let's see. Is the feeling going to be right? Is this going to be last pack magic? Magic, is this tin gonna be the greatest of them all? Did I choose the right one for the finale, MV fam? I mean, I think so. It's looking really good. Nita, Tauros, Toro Cat in the alleyway, the Blitzel, the Paris, the Volaby. We have a Pidgey card. There's Honedge. Man, we have the Unidentified Fossil Reverse Hollow Trainer card. And what do we get for our rare pull, everybody? Let's see. I'm gonna slow roll it. Can it be something good? No way. What is this? It's something, guys. Oh, a Hoopa GX Ultra Rare Pole. There we go. Look at that in the light. Hoopa GX. Nice. Hoopa. Nice card. And once again, back looking pretty good. So there we go. We pulled a Hoopa Ultra Rare to and the tin opening there we go hoopa ultra rare so that wasn't a bad tin opening i'm gonna have to make some room uh man we have some vintage packs coming up i'm gonna go ahead and leave those up for now 
But if we pull something better here, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to move this over here and we're going to add two more stands, two more stands. Cause we know we're going to get a hollow rare out of the vintage fossil Japanese pack from 96. And hopefully we pull another one out of our first edition American fossil pack. Just like in the last video, that would be so epic. I hope I can pull it off for you guys, MV fam. But we have our vintage packs. I have the two stands set up because I'm expecting two fire poles. I mean, I'm just, it's just been so great lately. I'm feeling so great about this. It just has to. Everything's been so right lately. Um, goodness. We're going to go ahead and just start again. I think it opens better from the bottom. The Japanese Fossil Booster Pack. Gonna open it up right here for you guys. The seal is broken. I got a little, oh, I just messed the pack up. There we go. And again, just like last time, so that there's no issues with the rare pull, I'm gonna pull the rare card right out. I'm going to sleeve it with the back of the card facing us and he's going to get set up on his stand. Oh, there we go. There's, there's our rare pole. Let's take a look at the normal poles from the Japanese fossil pack 1996. And this is going to cause a problem. So I'm going to set down our Snorlax and our Ingo and Emmett full art card. I'm gonna take away these stands because they are causing a focus issue. I can tell right away. So here we go. Oh goodness. We have the Almanite, um, Psyduck, Cloyster, Tentacool, Cruel, excuse me, Kabuto, Kingler, Zubat, the Gambler Trainer card, and this is a Professor Fuji, I believe, but I really wanted this card, I really did, because we have all the Pokemon in there, we have Pikachu, Lickitung, licking his head, we have Kubone, we have Weedle, and we have Poliwag, so I love that card, I'm going to sleeve it up, just because I love the artwork on this Trainer card, and we're going to set him down over here get these cards over here out of the way all right everybody once again we're down to the fossil pack first edition can we pull another hollow candidate another hollow PSA candidate excuse me can we do it let's see here's the finale of the video the finale and this pack art got ruined oh bummer I mean a little bit but finale of the video finale of the tin opening series that we've been doing here on YouTube for you guys and I need to get this figured out right away what is going on oh goodness as I hit the camera sorry for that MV fam but I need to get this figured out so that we have this thing nice and focused for you guys all right there's the horsey We have Ekans. What does it want to get? The, the little Pikachus. We have the Ekans. All right. Energy Search. Terminator with the orbs. We have the Krabby. There's that focus. There we go. Looking perfect. Finally, we have the Geodude. First edition fossil cards. What do we have here? A gambler card. And what do we have? Is this our rare, everybody? Nope, it's not the rare. It's a gambler card. And let's see, is this our rare pull? This is the rare, everybody. Ken Sugimuri. 
Let's see. What is it going to be? Oh my goodness. It's a psychic type energy. It's a Haunter. First edition. Oh my goodness. Gengar being one of my favorite Pokemon. Haunter is obviously right up there with one of the cards that I wanted to pull out of this fossil first edition pack. Man, it would have been Gengar and then Haunter. Well, here's the Haunter looking mighty fine. Look at that hollow print. Oh my goodness. Is this going to be a PSA 10 candidate? You know what? Hold on. There's the Amistar. Hold on a second. Let me set those down. Let me get the blackboard out so we can take a closer look at this Haunter. Okay. The hollow goodness there's no scratch the hollow is perfect the borders and the text box are perfect let's see here in back of the card oh unfortunately there's one white speck that might not get a 10 but it is definitely getting sent in to get graded and it does not want to focus on the card now. Here we go. All right, guys. So you get a nice look at the Haunter. I didn't even show you what the rare pull was for the fossil. I can't believe I forgot that. I just was so excited to get the first edition fossil pack open that I forgot to even show you after I sleeved up that trainer card what our rare pull is from the Japanese Fossil Booster Pack. So let me set down that first edition Haunter. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that I pulled that. And uh, yeah, I guess I could reveal the uh, card that I should have revealed before we open up the first edition Fossil Pack. But uh, here we go. Let's reveal it. One, two, three. A Hypno. Look at that. So we get a Hypno Hollow Rare psychic type pokemon to go right along with our haunter so not bad sorry i did that out of order but nonetheless two great looking hollow cards the borders look perfect on this one no white spec so i might be sending this one in to get graded as well but there's a hypno and um you guys i don't know should i do it should I open up one more? Should we do like a grand finale and just open up one more Japanese fossil pack? I mean, I'm kind of feeling like I should. I'm kind of feeling like I should. You know what? The heck with it. One more Japanese fossil booster pack. I'm feeling froggy. I'm feeling like we are going on a Gengar hunt. We have the Haunter over there. I mean, I'm just going to do it. I kind of messed up and I didn't show you the uh, the poll. So that's, that's on me. And uh, I do have one more of these packs left that I was going to keep sealed. But I bet I can get more. I bet I can get more. And uh, you know what, MV fam? I'm having so much fun right here with you guys that I absolutely do not mind opening up one more as I almost showed off the rare card. Hopefully I didn't give it away, but here we go. We're gonna take that rare card. We're gonna set them right over here. How about that? We're gonna go over the cards here. Here's the Hominite, Psyduck, Cloyster, Zubat. Oh, we missed one, the Gambler. Professor Fuji trainer card. There's that Terminator hand with the, catching a bunch of marbles. There's the horsey. There's the go bat. Nice. And now let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's grab a sleeve. And let's reveal it. For the last part of our video, the finale of the new tin openings. What do we get, guys? Are you excited as I am? Let's see. One, two, three. Nice, we get the Magneton. And let's see, are there any nifty swirls? Anything cool going on here? No, not really, but that hollow pattern does look nice. 
I really enjoy these Japanese cards, and I'm glad that we didn't pull a double. Um, we did pull the Fossil First Edition Magneton in the last video. I'll go ahead and link that right up here. But uh, yeah, that, that's going to go along very nicely with this and the collection. I have the Japanese and the First Edition Hollow card now. These are looking great. But you know what, MV fam? If you enjoyed all these videos that I've just done recently with opening up these tins and the last cards that I forgot to show you, Arbok, Ghastly, and Amistar from that First Edition booster pack opening but if you guys enjoyed this as much as i did once again please smash that like button leave me a huge thumbs up share this with all your friends man these videos have been very fun to make i have a lot of psa candidates and guess what that means we're gonna have a psa video we're gonna have a reveal of all the scores that we get your boy is gonna be sending some off look forward to that in the future mv fam but you know what guys we're gonna have to cut this one out and uh you know what we out thank you so much guys love you you guys are all awesome thank you to all my subscribers and join us join us join us i cannot stress that enough we're gonna have tons of fun here and like i said guys we out